I was going to do a few of these um, paintings that I like to do um, with this alcohol effect. So I thought I would go on ahead and just videotape uh, some of the process to give you an idea of what I was talking about on the the post that I made. Now a few of these I've already painted with a solid color that I'm going to let dry with some acrylic paint that I have mixed up here. Um, these here are ones that I have not painted yet. These I just found at the thrift store somewhere. They were um, probably 50 cents or a dollar a piece or something. First off, just covering it up for my first coat. These I'm probably going to do something a little different with the shadow people. Um, but it's still going to be some of the same process on some of the layers. But I would just do that and let it dry. Alright, so my wood is all covered and everything is dry now. And here I have my different brushes that I'm probably going to use. Uh, I've got some water here for thinning my paint. This here is my alcohol. I got 91%. Uh, anything above 70% you're going to be alright with um, doing this effect. And so I've poured some in this little jar so that I don't uh, cross contaminate my alcohol. And I've got different colors of paint here. And this is just a little uh, paper plate that I use for thinning my, plate and my paint out. And you can see I use layer upon layer. And I got another cup maybe I might thin something out. Right. Hope I don't get in the way. So I've sort of narrowed down some of my colors or what I might want to use. So the consistency of paint needs to be fairly runny. Because um, you want the alcohol and the water to not like each other. So the more water in the paint better it's going to do. So, something kind of like that. I usually just pour mine on. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a little bit of a tone. Wait a minute, please. Oh, okay. 